another day on questions in the heart and thanks for joining me on yet another spirit and soul lifting episode of questions in the heart mm. our MPs voted for gay marriage today the lord's will be done our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done here on earth as it is done in heaven, as it is in heaven. Heaven, where is it? What do they do there? Who are the people there? Well, we're made to believe that heaven, you know, is the streets of, of heaven is paved with gold. We're made to believe it's a place where angels are, you know, singing and fellowshipping with God. Where is heaven? How do we get there? Tonight, we're going to look at the special topic, heaven. Have you ever thought of it lately? And to ride with us on this topic is a very special man of God. I call him a very special man of God in his 70s. He's here tonight, you know, he's a man that has influenced and affected lives positively here in the United Kingdom and around the world. You don't want to go nowhere. You don't want to touch that down. When I return, I get you to meet my guest got the largest church or oh, well I should think in the UK in the 80s I wasn't here I was told most of those ministers that matters on ground now in the UK and even abroad pass through the same man of God I'm talking to you about he's in his 70s and still doing gloriously well for the Lord welcome with me Doctor, I call him doctor, some people call him pastor, Dr. Michael Bassett. You're welcome, Master. I honor having you on <laughs> questions in the hair. How are thank you, sir? You. Very well, thank you. You've told everybody I'm over 70. <laughs> Twice you said that. You don't look <laughs> it, though. Well, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to be your age. I, I'm, 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 I'm thrilled. You will get there, believe me. By we, the we way, all go so that same way. <laughs> you don't look 70, honestly. Thank you. Thank nice having you on the show tonight. Thank you. The name Dr. Bassett rings a serious bell here in London and across the world. You want to tell us about your unique self? <laughs> well, I think we're all pretty unique, aren't we? <laughs> it's just I we think are. I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. And uh, that was uh, the 80s, the beginning of the 80s. Wow. And um, we came to London after coming from Bath, and we started a church here uh, with one person in 82. Wow. And uh, when I left in 94, we had a thousand people every Sunday morning that would wow. physically turn up. And then after that, it went up to 3,000 or so un under a different wow. pastor. Wow. Yeah, so God, um, God bless it. But uh, he released me in 94. Wow. You left the church, you started in 94. Well, I, what happened was um, um, we had three morning services and one Sunday evening service. But the first service on that Sunday, as I was uh, uh, ministering, yeah. um, the Spirit of the Lord just came upon me and uh, I fell to the ground and began to groan in the Spirit. This went on for a while. Wow. I, I couldn't tell you how long, but I knew something was seriously happening. Wow. And I was thinking to myself, you know, isn't it strange how God has just interrupted mm. my message? Well, you know, God can interrupt you. He you can. Know, he, can, he, interrupt. can. he interrupted my life right mm. then. And um, at the end of this uh, intercession, I was groaning in the spirit. Everyone was watching. Uh, I suppose everyone knew something was going to happen. I, I heard a voice, and the voice spoke to me and said, I'm releasing you to the new world. Wow. And so I got up, sat down, and Denise, my wife, said, what did God say to you? Everyone knew that something happened. And uh, I said to her, um, Denise, I, I think that we're going to America uh, because my wife is American. And in my understanding of that, those of few moments, you know, was suddenly that uh, the Lord is going to send me back and I will be the missionary and my wife will be back with her people oh, type, you know. Um, but again, God meets you always on the level of your understanding. You're right. And the only understanding I had of a new world then was, was America. <laughs> I didn't know any other new world. And, and so that's what happened. And wow. so um, I felt in my heart of hearts that uh, in that time, 
um, it would be difficult for me to go to America and pastor the church uh, with all sincerity. You know, I'm a hands-on pastor. and uh, So I felt that um, if I didn't go, I'd be disobedient to the heavenly voice. Uh, if I did go, I should make a clean break. That, that was my, my understanding. <coughs> Again, um, if, if, uh, if it happened today, I'd do it completely different. Oh. I just put everybody on Skype, you know what I mean? <laughs> we never had Skype in those days. But you know, you, you, make, uh, you make your decisions, you do what you do, and I, as long as you make it uh, with the integrity of your, of your heart, even if you made a mistake, if it's your integrity of your heart, uh, that's the best way to make a move. You I know. was going to ask you, any, any regret making that decision? Oh, I have lots of regrets in a sense, but time heals, you know, you, you, gosh, if you don't go through these testings and times, you won't have a testimony, you will know. you? So uh, my whole message now is made up of the insights I've gained through being released to uh, a, new a new world, world. Or, or just a, a new way of seeing things. Mm. It's, uh, you know, it's, but I had to go on this journey. It was very painful. Wow. Um, Leaving a massive church behind you. Yeah, um, I did, but I did it by faith. Uh, and like I say, I felt in my heart of hearts it was the right thing to do. Mm. I didn't... Um, like the way it turned out ultimately with the church, but you know, that's not my business anymore. You know, uh, I learned what I had to learn. Um, I went through what I had to go through and my family as well. But like you say, I'm still looking good. You're still, still looking good, trust me. Still, I, mean, I, I don't have any hurts or regrets really. I'm, wow. I'm quite happy. You know, Do you uh, mind telling me the name of the church? It was called Victory Church. Victory Church. Yeah, Victory Church and Hampstead Bible School. Wow. We still have uh, on, on school. Facebook, you know, Victory Church, Hampstead Bible School. Wow. And uh, people put up all old pictures and videos. Wow. And, wow. You know, because it did make uh, an impression, an impression. In, in those days. Mm. Uh, because there wasn't really much regarding faith churches and... Mm you know, preaching health and prosperity yeah. and all these good, which we did. So we really did set a precedent at that time, wow. you know. Wow. And, I wish yeah. you could roll back the hands of time. Yes, but you've <laughs> got to go on, you know. I, I, I don't want to live in what was. I, I thank God for well, what well, happened. I was going to ask you, what are you doing at the moment? Well, I'm, I'm, I've always been preaching. I've always been teaching. I've always been traveling. I'm an itinerant type minister. Okay. I have a ministry called the Fellowship of World Christians, mm. which is to help license and ordain ministers. Okay. Um, I, I have a TV show called StayFree.tv, okay. um, where I put up my messages. Um, I have JC and Friends, that's on jcandfriends.com, which is a once a month. I meet with people. It's like a, uh, it's not a church, it's just uh, the fellowship of the saints. You still make an impact. Yes, I teach and I preach and I minister. And you and, sing as well. Oh, now I sing, yes. <laughs> That, that's, that's a new addition. That's a new addition. I so, was listening to your song uh, before we came on set. Yeah. And I was like, oh my goodness. That, 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 that song was a serious love, love song. I was listening to your yes, love song. And I was like, yes. look at this old man in his 70s singing love song. Oh, I still love love song. <laughs> you know, well, the goal of our instruction is love. You're right. See, I think we need a lot more a love. Very, don't a very we? beautiful track. That yes. Is a very yes. Beautiful one. Well, that's what I love to do now. Mm -hmm. I love to sing. So I'm moving more into uh, the singing evangelism. Type oh, yes. at, at age 70. Yes, Whoa. yes. This is, this is the, the, the new thing. The new that, thing, that God's the new move of forth, God. With that you. God's bringing forth. Brilliant. I'm very excited about Brilliant. that. Yes. Brilliant. Nice having you on the show again. Tonight, we're looking at this topic, heaven. Mm -hmm. The Bible starts with, in the beginning, you know, God created heaven and the heart. And the basic understanding we have is that Heaven is a place where God is, you know, where angels and other celestial beings live. How would you, as a man of God, who's got a serious standing with the Lord, describe heaven? I don't know. Never been there. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you have to ask those preach, that have gone. You preach uh, all your life about uh, it, haven't you? No, I preach uh, the kingdom of heaven is within you hmm. all my time. This is what I preach. Is okay. that? Uh, heaven now. So from your own view, 
what is heaven? Where is well, heaven? heaven is a place where God is, and uh, we know that you can go there. Mm -hmm. And uh, Paul the Apostle was seemingly there, and he described things. And then he said there were too many things I couldn't describe. It was just too indescribable. But many people have had uh, trips to heaven. We read their testimonies. Mm -hmm. But again, uh, remember, God meets you on the level of your understanding. Yeah. So when a child is taken to heaven, he will have a heaven expressed to him that appeals to his age. Mm -hmm. You see, so heaven is, is for us now more to be seen in the spiritual realities of the indwelling presence of God. Okay. You see, you see Jesus said the heaven, it, heaven is within you. You see? So the kingdom of heaven is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So if you're operating in your physical body with joy and peace and righteousness, you're in heaven. Okay. You're, you're, in fact, you, I can even say this to you. If you have Jesus Christ in you as your life, you are in heaven. He said, and hath raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenlies, in Christ Jesus. Jesus. So spiritually, our spirit is already in the heavenlies. Once you're of Christ, you're already in heaven. You're in, you're in heaven. Your spirit is in heaven. Your body is in the earth, and your soul gets information from earth and from heaven. Pastor Bassett, are you saying heaven is not a place we look forward to going to? Well, I think that we put too much emphasis upon dying and going to heaven. I think the emphasis now should be that we can experience a little bit of heaven right now, which is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Yeah. You see, because this is, this is the heaven within. Jesus said, you know, the kingdom of heaven is now within you. you see, he said, the, the, the kingdom of heaven is, is, is close at first. Now it's in. It was coming. At the time of John the Baptist, mm -hmm. Jesus said that up until that time, the kingdom of heaven was taken by violence and the violence took it by force. But then he said, you know, that the kingdom of heaven is given unto the child. That's why he says, suffer the little children to come unto me. So the violent aspect of mm -hmm. gaining heaven doesn't really match the new creation reality that is now within us, within us and that we receive it by being like a child we we trust the word of the father that it's been given it's uh, wherever christ is there is heaven wherever christ is there is heaven because he's in heaven he said where i am you shall be also so if christ is in me mm -hmm. I am in heaven. You should be seated in the heavenlies in Christ. He's raised us up together. That's in reality or God's fact. You see, we either live by facts, God's facts, or we live by our imagination. <laughs> Rather I, I, live by God's facts, even though you can't necessarily understand all of it, but the fact is that we've already been taken up Spiritually speaking, our spirit is seated with him in the heavenlies. So you're saying heaven as a place to go to is, it's our imagination playing games? Uh, going to heaven is not really the uh, idea here. It's you are either in it or you're not right where you are. You look no closer than where you are. You don't need to go any further than, than Let that. Let me ask you this then. If someone who's accepted Christ as yes. his personal Lord and Savior, dies tomorrow, yes. where does he go to? Well, he's already in heaven if he's got Christ in him. So where Christ is, he will be. But remember, it's the spirit that, that is already seated there, and the soul will be attached to the spirit. So they'll be in heaven. Even the thief on the cross, remember, Jesus said to the thief as he was crucified, he said, today you shall be with me in paradise. Yeah. So because he believed, he trusted in the Jesus Christ as was the Messiah mm -hmm. at that moment. It's really a momentary thing of being born again. You must be born, born again. again yeah. If you want to enter into the kingdom of heaven, you must be born of his spirit, mm -hmm. you see. So, so it's not so much going to heaven. <laughs> It's, it's you, either you have the heaven within you within now you. or you don't. Because heaven and hell 
are within us. But, but Pastor Bassett, heaven in the Bible is being portrayed as something above, you know. Given like that, the, you know, the heart is round, and um, for the fact that the earth is round, what is above in Australia might actually be below here in England. Yeah, but you're thinking through your human <laughs> mind. That's your, that's your reasoning. Yeah. If God is omnipresent. Up and down to God is only a way of uh, a figure of speech to get us to understand. So See, you're saying heaven is, God not, is, is not another planet anywhere, it's not a location. It's God not is everywhere. There's nowhere God isn't. God is omnipresent God. God is a spirit. So how will you explain the, 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 the make-believe of the, the streets of heaven or paper gold? All these are symbolism to get us to uh, try to understand. Um, but let me ask you something. Do you really want to walk on gold streets? Is that what's going to make you feel that you're in heaven? Rather have righteousness, peace and joy. You know, gold is... Uh, is something uh, of a, a natural substance in the realm of spirit. Mm. These are just descriptives. You know, gold is descriptive of God's nature. Silver is descriptive of the Christ nature. Yeah. These are just types and shadows. Do you think a lot of gold is going to make you happy in heaven? I don't think so. I think the aspect of being in the presence, the presence of, God. of God. You see, in the presence of God, where there's going to be joy unspeakable. It's going to be just waves of love and joy. You know, I don't think you're going to be looking at gold blocks <laughs> to make you happy, you see. It's, in uh, interesting. Everybody interesting. wants to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. so, well, of course. And I believe there is a heaven. Okay. And I believe there's a God in heaven. I know that because the two witnesses in Revelation 11, 12, yeah. They heard a voice say, come up hither. Yeah. And they were taken up into heaven in a cloud like the way Jesus was taken up. You see, so, so there's everyone, people. Everyone seems to look like a place. Oh, it is a place, but it's not so much thinking about going to heaven. It's about being now in the heavenlies in Christ Jesus because you have his nature. You're born of the spirit. Uh, you, you can experience things that heaven allows, which is the Pastor joy, Bassett, the peace, the righteousness. Pastor Bassa, Jesus said, in, in my father's house, mm -hmm. there are many mansions there. Yes. It, yes. it looks to me like heaven is a proper, proper planet, maybe yes. somewhere. Yes. That's yes. got all the futures it, we have here on earth. Well, what, what about earth? Is, isn't that the planet that it, it God is gave, well. gave to men? Isn't this going to be where men have heaven on earth. The promise given to yeah, Abraham was I mean, heaven, heaven on earth. Yeah. You see? So there'll be a new heaven, a new earth. Yeah. Earth was designed for humans like us to live. This is where we're going to live. Yeah. You see, there's a resurrection morning where the bodies will be uh, looking like his body. Yeah. You know, the graves will open, resurrection morning, and yeah. we shall be like him. We'll have our spiritual glorified body. Okay, okay. You see, in other words, remember, it's all, it's all a symbolism. It's all so, uh, so we can try to understand. But you see, it's not going to the way. God is everywhere present. There's nowhere God oh. isn't. Wherever God is, there's liberty and freedom. Where the presence of the Lord is, there is liberty. So it's rather look in the inside, the, the, the reality or the nearness of the presence of God now. See, we contain the Holy Spirit. We contain the spirit of, of his dear son. We got God, Father, we have Jesus, wow. we have this the Holy Spirit. It's all in us, you see. Uh, and when the eyes of our understanding are open, mm -hmm. we realize it's not so much going to a place, another planet, it's just that where he is, we will be also. And that's, that's beyond our understanding. We, how can we understand these things with a finite mind? You can't. We try to. So God gives us symbolism. He gives us figure of speech to help us understand it's going to be good. That's all you've got to know. It's going <laughs> to be fantastic. You're going to be happy. There's going to be no more tears. Uh, but to describe it in worldly terms or earthly terms or through the mind, mm -hmm. the reasoning mind and imagination, I don't think we're going to achieve much today. Really? No. But if we look at it through the eyes of spirit, God is omnipresent, spirit, 
Uh, he is love. The goal of our instruction is love. Heaven is not so much a place you're going to go to. Heaven is a place you've come to already now while you are in this body. And if you don't have heaven now, you're not going to get it when you leave your body. Wow. I still don't get it right on where we go to. I don't know. I've never when been we there. die as Christians. If, no you're, if you're saying tonight that heaven is here with us, as much as I've received Christ have the, as their Lord and personal Savior, are in heaven already. Heaven mm -hmm. is not a place we look forward to going to. So what happens after that? So a Christian, where do we go to? We make to you believe right, we we'll go you, to listen. heaven. We'll <laughs> you will go to heaven. There's a heaven. And there's a God in heaven. Our Father which art in heaven. All I'm saying is to describe it through the mind mm -hmm. or the reasoning mm -hmm. is very, very difficult because we've never, we don't have anything that we can like in put it. our no, because you've never seen it before, you've never experienced it before. We're, it's something that we live by faith in. We know it's going to be fantastic. There's going to be no more tears. It's going to be joy, peace. You have a glorified body. You live forever. Yeah. All these things, but to just put it in a little. Wow. Picture book for everybody. <laughs> I can't do that. Mm -hmm. Even Paul couldn't, when he came back, he couldn't even describe it. He wasn't allowed to describe it. Interesting. Yeah, so, those that have gone to heaven and they have come back with their stories, I, I, I think it's wonderful, it's fantastic. But it will be given to them according to their understanding. It's not always going to match. I, I was going to ask you that most of these people that claim to have been taken to heaven. Yeah. You know, they, they, they relate to us stories that necessarily does not tally with what the Bible, you know, describe heaven to be like. What, what well, the, the Bible doesn't really describe heaven too much. It's faith. See, we live by faith. Jesus said the kingdom of heaven is upon you. Then he said the kingdom of heaven is within you. And then he said the kingdom of heaven is if a man should cast seed into the ground and the seed should spring up, we know not how. We know not how. We know not how. We know not how. First the blade, then the ear, after that the full corn in the ear. So these are, are parables now. You see, so there's no real clear picture. You take it by faith. All I can tell you is God is good. God is love. God is light. And heaven will be a place of light, love, and the presence of God. And there'll be no fear. There'll be no want. It'll all be supplied. It's heavenly. But eventually that will turn up in the earth because in the dispensation of the fullness of times so he shall gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are in earth, even in him. So when you're in him, you have the heavenly aspect already. Wow. The beginning of it. See, that seed is Christ. Kingdom of heaven is if a man should cast seed into the ground. The seed is the Christ seed. And the seed, when it's watered, any seed, this is only an illustration again, it begins to grow, you see. And we are beginning to grow up into him. That's the seed, which is Christ. It's growing up. We're growing up into the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. And then we're growing up with our understanding, the eyes of our understanding, becoming enlightened, that we might know the hope of his calling. What are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints? What is exceeding greatness of his power to us who believe according to the working of his mighty power? That is our work. Yes. See, we're, we're growing into him. Let this mind be in you which was in Amen. Christ Jesus. You see, Jesus said, I've come from heaven. He said, no man has come from heaven. I come from heaven and I go back to heaven. No one ever went to heaven until Jesus Christ went and put his blood on the altar in heaven. And then the way was open. But the way is narrow. But the way to these heavenly things is through Jesus Christ. There's no other way. Huh. That's Pastor Bassett <laughs> for you tonight. Heaven is more of on the inside of you than a place to go to. According to him, once you give your life to Christ, you are in heaven already. 
imagination, illustration of where heaven is, of what heaven is, is not as important as you having Christ, meaning you having heaven within you, even here on earth. I'll go on a short break. Where is heaven? On the inside of you or in one planet up there? Don't go nowhere. See you shortly. Thanks for staying with us. Please visit our website, www.questionsandtheart.com, to catch up with our you know, programs. And then um, we have got a store there. Our online store is there as well, where you can you know, lay your hands on materials that will bless and educate you. you know, um, the special um, CD from um, the woman of God um, and the businessman, um, Jeff Lex, and then um, Pastor um, John Obridge is there as well financial intelligence from a biblical perspective. It's going to bless you. We've got some other materials there as well. Just log on to www.questionsintheart.com. You know, we have lots of materials there that will bless you. That's the financial intelligence from a biblical perspective. It's, going to, it's, it's a very good CD that will bless your you know, financial life and liberate you forever. Please lay your hands on it and you'll be glad you did. Heaven! It's a wonderful place, full of glory and praise. Our studio line will be open. You can join the chat tonight. Is everyone here with us or is a place we're going to soon? What do they do in heaven? We, we have this picture of um, heaven as a place where, where we sit in clouds, you know, with harps and trumpets, singing and praising and worshiping the Lord, you know, forever. To me, heaven wouldn't be that boring you know we just sing and sing and sing and sing what do we do in heaven what do people do in heaven and also at resurrection what do we do in the new heaven and the new earth you know do we just sing till eternity just sing and sing in the new heaven and new, new earth as well <laughs> what goes on in heaven <laughs> well again one man's heaven is another man's hell i mean uh, if you're a <laughs> golfer uh, heaven's golf, and, and if you don't like golf, it's going to be a very miserable place. Uh -huh. So it's, again, it's down to interpretation. It's, it's down to God will meet you at your level of understanding. Believe me, God is a God of surprise. It's going to be far beyond anything I can describe or anyone else can describe. It'll be indescribable. God will have new things coming from that sea of glass of his before his throne, New things will be popping up all the time. It's not just you know, I don't think I've ever heard of any bored angels. I mean, they're all <laughs> praising God and, yeah. and they've all got uh, yeah. new things. It'll be a, a new every morning. Yeah. Great is thy faithfulness. I don't think we should have any problem with having a great time in heaven. Yeah. We will never be bored. Okay? But remember, the time is coming when the saints are coming back to inhabit to the, the earth. Yeah. This is going to be a new heaven, a new earth, and that's where we're going to be living ultimately, is a world without end. And so, are you enjoying your life now? Do you like fishing? Well, you'll be fishing, I believe, on the earth. Oh, really? Do you like playing golf? You'll be playing golf. Whatever. I mean, because we're going to be uh, with bodies that we can, you know, substance here, you know, flesh bodies, but not the flesh and blood bodies we got now, they'd be glorified bodies. Jesus came back with his body and ate fish, didn't he? Okay. He had a, you know, he had a, a drink and a fish. I mean, <laughs> it's, a, it it's just going to be something we have not yet experienced. But I believe it will be, we'll be feeling divine health, mm. par excellence, we'll be happy, we'll be joyful. There'll be nothing to distract us. We'll be focused on the, the presence of the Lord. He'll be ever present with us. He'll be with, mm. it's going to be glorious. It's going to be fantastic. Okay. And I believe that we'll have experiences that are just indescribable. Wow. Okay. So what do they do here, there now at the moment? That's for those of us who, who believe, okay, we're, we're looking forward to heaven. They're in heaven now. Yeah, they're in what heaven now, they but they don't have their physical bodies yet, you see. So one day they don't with the Lord is a thousand yet. years, a thousand years is one day. I believe they're all waiting for this event where they can come into their physical bodies again and, uh, and be on the heaven that's on earth that God has promised. 
Wow. It all comes. So, again, in the realm of spirit, it's a whole different thing. But spirit and body were always meant to be together. together. They were never meant to be separated. Okay, that's just because of the, of the fall. You see, there's a separation. So what we, uh, we want is absent from the body, present with the Lord, with the and we think about heaven one day, great. But, you know, we should be actually thinking about the heavenlies now that we're already in if we're born again. And if we're not born again, we should seek to be born again of the new nature. And then we should be telling everyone else, there's a wonderful thing called you must be born again, because if you have the old nature, you aren't going to heaven. See, not only is heaven in many of us now, hell is in a lot of people. And uh, I think you can, you can show hell very simply just by going down to certain parts of town. Mm -hmm. People are in pain, they're in hell already. Wow. So, so hell, hell is even hell already. Well, it's hell is, uh, people are in hell. Their, their souls are destroyed. They, 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 they commit suicide, they're unhappy. It's, uh, it, this is what hell is. It's, it's, uh, but, but, but hell without your body is really bad. You know, you can be in hell with your body, you still have the Adamic body, yeah. but when you lose that, you, you enter into the devil's body's type. I mean, it's a different world again. That is fire. There is a real hell, there is a real fire. But again, fire on a physical body yeah. is different yeah. to a fire on a, a body that is now spirit. So fire really is the torment of the soul. Mm. You know, it's just total torment. In other words, it's alive forever and ever and ever, yeah. but has no means of expression because it's got no body. It's got no body. And okay. then all these desires uh, or lusts that you have, you can't mm. express. Mm. That is hell, you okay. see, and it's eternal. Wow. That's why we've got to tell people that let's get heaven in us now because when you leave your body, you've already chosen which one you want. Wow. Okay. You've Pastor. chosen hell and you've chosen heaven. Okay, Pastor. Choose life. Choose life. We have a caller. Good evening, Rick. Oh, good evening. Thanks for calling. Um, is that Esther? Yes, please. Oh, hi, Esther. Good evening. I'm in the program with uh, you and Dr. Michael Baxter there. Thank you. Um, it's a wonderful subject. Heaven. Thank you. What a glorious. Mm. Glorious message, uh, and what a wonderful program you're, you're having tonight. Mm. I just want—it's just a question, really, from Michael. Okay. Doctor Michael. Okay. I just, slight change, only slight change of subject, but um, I know Michael's got CDs and, and music out. Yeah. And I just wondered if if he had any songs about heaven, or oh. if there's any on his CD, and perhaps whether we could. Okay. Have okay. Any music. Okay. Do you have any material on this? Subject heaven. Well, I have um, a, a TV show on, on, on it's IPTV. It's on the internet called StayFree.tv. Okay. So if you go on to StayFree.tv, yeah. there's a Bible question and answer program there. There will be things about what we're talking, discussing. Now. Okay. And there'll be lots of videos there. There'll be some of my music videos there, there. Okay. and the video, the, the CD is called I Believe, and, and when I sing, I sing under Michael Anthony Bassett, so you've got to put the Anthony in, okay. uh, and you get, get the videos on YouTube okay. and Vimeo and all that. You okay, know. so they can get materials from you on this topic, subject Evan, on, on, on stayfree.tv. Stay stay yeah. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. I hope your question is answered, Rick. Thanks for calling. Wow, so hell is real and is here, heaven is real and is here. Why should I go to heaven? Well, because you don't want to go to hell. You know, you've got a choice. Uh, you know, the, the two pillars mm. of the temple, mm. let's just say this temple, because we are the temple of the yeah. Lord. So look at a physical temple mm. that have two pillars. Pillar number one, God is love. And pillar number two is the will of man is free. Wow. You, the, these two, these are, are set. God is love, the will of man is free. Mm -hmm. Mankind chooses where he wants to live through eternity. He either chooses heaven, heaven. or he chooses yeah. hell. Mm -hmm. He chooses to work with the will of God or he chooses to work against the, the will, will of, God. of God. The minute you start to choose the will of God, the lines of your life begin to fall in pleasant places. Mm -hmm. The minute you choose to work against the will of God, 
you begin to see the hellish situations begin to come into your life. Mm -hmm. So the best thing is to uh, listen to the prayer that Jesus gave the disciples, only one prayer he gave them. Mm -hmm. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. For thine is the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So there is a, a choice we all make to, um, to live in the will of God or live outside the will of God. You can harmonize with God or you can be disunited with God. This is union or disharmony. You see, all oh, they're, they're opposites. We live in a world of opposites. Mm -hmm. But our choice, God upholds. God does not send anybody to hell. God does not we send, send. We send ourselves to hell. God does not send anybody to hell. We send ourselves to of hell. Course. Good evening, Tina. Hello, good evening. Thanks for calling. Yes, good evening. I just need contribution to uh, the discussion. Okay, and, please. Uh, we were just listening, myself and my husband, mm -hmm. and uh, we're pastors and, you know, we're ministering a, a church. Mm -hmm. So um, regarding heaven, and not just uh, ministering in the church, um, heaven, as uh, the man of God was uh, speaking to you, I have uh, had the opportunity to go to heaven myself to travel. Heaven is up there that when our Lord Jesus Christ, you remember when he, he, he died, he resurrected and went up to heaven. Okay. And the disciples were looking at him and they know the spot with, you know, from which he left to heaven. Mm -hmm. And the angels had to, you know, meet him up. And, you know, so besides, you know, Jesus leaving the hell, which is down the, you know, and they're uh, taking off, you know, getting up and rising, and you know, every, every other eye that saw him knew he was rising. I, as a person, I died when I was five years old, and I was prepared, you know, uh, for burial. But as a five year old child, I was unable to see precisely what happened. But when I was very uh, an adult, at about 22, 25, when I was working in the banking industry, I died again. I was in the hospital. I was there, you know. I, I died in a hospital. Mm -hmm. So my spirit left my body, discharged my body, just like Jesus said, his spirit discharged his, uh, you know, his uh, spirit discharged his body and went straight to heaven. Mm -hmm. My spirit discharged my body uh, from the hospital bed and left and I went straight. Just like, uh, the, you know, the, 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 the spirit with which your spirit lifts your body is, uh, is faster than when, when you're sending a text message to a, a, a friend. Yeah. You know, so your spirit lifts your body instantly like a, a, a tiny, you know, so like a tiny, like a, a, a more touch spirit. Your okay. spirit, you can just have the, you know, that's when you'll be able to sense and be able to say, yes, I am able to experience what is going on. Because I saw brilliant sun, brilliant sun, not just like this type of light, electricity light, no, it's not like electricity light, okay. but brilliant of the sun, and you see like gardens, beautiful gardens and beautiful gardens in heaven above, it's not okay. here on earth, it is heaven, it is much more after, you know, the moon, the, moon the, 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 you know, it goes further away and all that, so okay. when my feet, I, when I was traveling with that feet to heaven, mm. the nurses were holding me, and that I didn't know you, I'm no longer aware of wow. my surroundings. I am no longer aware of my surroundings. Oh, okay. Of human being. Wow. That, that's such a wonderful experience, Tina. Uh, I know time will allow us to take um, your full testimony tonight. You can communicate with us on the mobile number on the screen. We will discuss further with you. Tina was saying she died at the age of five. Yeah. And her spirit was taken to heaven. She yes. saw lights, she saw gardens and mm -hmm. stuff. And she's of the opinion that heaven is not, not just on the inside of us. Heaven is a place we go to. Well, yes, but the, 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 the spirit leaves the body. And the yeah. spirit is with the Lord. Absence yeah. from the body, present with the Lord. Yeah. Again, but you, we, we, we're doing ups and downs. But if you're in Australia and you die, you know, the up is down, the down is up. So, I mean, it's like heaven is up. Heaven is Look up because your redemption draweth nigh. Mm. But I'm just saying that the mind that we have can only operate through the 
reasonings or the imagination or the things that we see or sense. So we have to take everything by faith, what the Word of God says, that you know, where He is, we, we shall, shall be, be also. So we are so going until to heaven. we get there, we don't know what a place looks like. I don't know what it looks like. Now, she's been there, she's seen things. But again, when children go, they, they see different things than when an adult goes. Because, That's a different thing. Uh, I mean, uh, an adult's heaven is different to a child's heaven. But we're all children of God. I don't think it's a major problem. We'll all know when we get there. <laughs> yeah. But in the meantime, we're dealing with the things that we do know we can now by faith, believe what the Lord says, you know, that he has raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenlies in Christ Jesus. So in reality, the minute we're born of his spirit, we're already seated in the heavenlies. That is our home. Mm -hmm. But the, the spirit needs a body. You see, that's all I'm saying. So once the body and soul uh, together. come together, you see, that's the union, that's the marriage between spirit and body. That's why I'm not too keen on all this marriage thing that is taking place because it's a type, you see. It's a type of spirit, flesh. They're different. Mm -hmm. It's not the same. It's not flesh, flesh, yeah. spirit, spirit. Yeah. Yeah. It's one opposite to the yeah. other. Become in union or in marriage. And that's what this marriage is about. Mm -hmm. The first thing that man said in the Bible, Adam, he spoke of union of marriage between a man and a woman, you see, because it's that spiritual understanding we need. So when you mess with the types, you lose the understanding. Mm. You see, the understanding is that two become one flesh. Wow. Okay, before we go tonight, I know people are trying to balance between heaven being here with us now and heaven has a place to go to. And... Um, how can someone be assured of making it to God or making it to heaven, so to speak, when they die? If heaven is a place to go to... Well, or... because you must, be, you must be born again. You have to have the spirit of heaven. God's spirit has to be in you. So anybody who is not a believer is not going to have any experience of heaven, either here on heart or... or well, about, Jesus said that, that certain people will not get into heaven. You know, you, you've got to remember that Adulterers won't go into heaven, fornicators won't go into heaven, uh, the homosexual situation is, is, is going to be a big problem to get into heaven. But busybodies aren't going to get into heaven either. In fact, no one's going to get into heaven unless they have chose to go the way that heaven directs. And the only way into heaven is through Jesus Christ. He said, I'm the way. And this way is a narrow way. As narrow is the entrance. You know, so you actually, you've got to be very narrow-minded to get into heaven. Mm -hmm. You see, narrow-minded in the sense that you can only really think the thoughts that come out of the Word of God to us. Let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus, you see. Uh, so uh, if we have a broad sort of uh, broadening, we think that's very clever, but actually it's not. Mm. Uh, broad way... You go, to, you go to New York and the, you, you won't find heaven much there either. Uh, broad is the way that leads to death. Narrow is the way that leads to life. So we've got to go through that narrow way, you see, to enter into the heaven. And Peter had the keys, didn't he? Yeah, God gave him the keys to the heaven, you see. So yeah, of course there's a heaven. But right now, we're in our physical bodies. So we've got to understand it, that God is omnipresent now and that the kingdom of heaven is within us. We're already seated in the heavenlies now, and it's righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Good evening. Thanks for calling. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Thanks for calling, Jane. Hello, Michael. This is Jeanette. I was with you the weekend. Oh, thank yes. Hi, Jeanette. Oh, How are you? Hi. Thank you. I'd just like to say thank you for the lovely weekend that we had with all your uh, friends. Thank you and, so much. Uh, it was like a little mini heaven on earth, if you like. Oh, and wonderful. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And your singing was gracious and really lovely. And so, you know, I just want to say thank you and just to encourage you to continue on I, and do I, your music. I, I will, Jeanette. I will definitely <laughs> soldier on. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you for taking the time and, to call. Uh, and yes, I do understand it, what the reason you're singing them. 
So, you know, uh, thank you again. All right, thanks for calling. Thank we appreciate you. your call. We appreciate your call. So you've got to be a believer to experience heaven. You have to. You have to have the nature given to you as a gift. And that's why it's all about telling people about this wonderful gift of eternal life, which is heaven. Mm -hmm. Heaven is a place in that sense that we all want to go to. Everybody wants to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. From the politician to the dentist to the, uh, to the housewife to the, to the thief uh, to the rapist, everybody, well, from the male, female, fat, then we all want heaven. But you've got to get it according to God's way, you see. Before John, Jesus said the kingdom of heaven was taken by violence, you see, and the violent take it by force. But violent people are not going to get into heaven. You've got to be like a little child. You've got to trust the Father. You've got to believe. It's by faith, you see. It's a given. He gives you his spirit. He gives you his son. He gives you these gifts. They're all free. Salvation is by faith. All by faith. You've got to believe in the gospel message, but you've got to hear the gospel message that Jesus Christ came down from heaven. No man was in heaven. He came down from heaven and he became a man, a God man. He felt everything we feel right now. And he wants everybody to be with him in the heavenlies, but he can't take you there if the nature still is the Adamic. Mm. The fallen nature will not go into heaven. Now, when I mentioned the, the, uh, you know, the adulterer, the fornicator, the, the homosexual, that's heterosexual as well. Heterosexual who are fornicating, mm -hmm. we're all in the same category. Mm. We're all lost. We're all dead in our sins, everybody. So it's not a matter of judging people. In fact, it's none of that type of natural man is going to enter into no heaven. No sin is above the other. No, it's in all the same. Sin. It's all the same. No one's judging anybody. It's the spirit that convicts of sin mm. and judgment and righteousness. We're not here to judge people. I'm not here to judge anybody. What I'm saying, there is a way, a better way to go mm -hmm. than trying to get in there through violently taking it. Wow. Because wow. you, know, you violently take something that's not yours, you'll end up in prison. You're right. Let's take Priscilla's call for the last uh, call tonight. Good evening. Thanks for calling. Hello. Good evening. Yes. Thanks like for calling. Yes, I'd like to contribute to what you're discussing. Do, do it in 30 seconds, please. We've got to go all right, tonight. Yes. I would like to say that we also have to go back to the Ten Commandments. Yeah. Because Jesus said, the most important thing is loving your God with all your heart, mm -hmm. with all your mind, with your strength. And if you do that and you love your neighbor as yourself, automatically the rest of the commandments will fall in place. Okay. And all the things like murderers, isolators, the rapists, the gay, absolutely homosexuals will not enter the kingdom of God. Demonic is evil. I understand the fast of demonic deal today. Yeah. The Lord detests it. God bless you, Priscilla. would not enter the kingdom of God. There is no daily dallying about it. Okay. And there, there is no trying to sweet sugarcoat it. They would never enter the kingdom of God. That's Thank you so much, Priscilla. We appreciate your call. God bless you for your contribution. We always forget the busybodies, don't we? <laughs> they ain't going in either. Be, the busybodies yeah, are not going in either. Yeah. No sin is above no. the order. Sin is sin, is sin. sin is sin. It's such an honor, Pastor Bassett, having you on the show tonight. Speaking on this serious topic, Evan, the Lord bless and increase you. Catch up on our programs on www.questionsintheart.com. You want to come on our show, you've got a message for the world. Get in touch with us on our website. Leave us a message. We'll get back to you. Visit our store. You know, the, the single we did for you is there. Thank you. Track, download your copy. The production crew, you are the best. God bless you. We appreciate your love. Our callers, God bless you. Till I see you same time, same station next week. Don't Miss out. Heaven is the place you want to be. God bless you.
climb on every round May you stay Be strong. 